Welcome to another video. Today I'm trying to attend the World Pork Roll Eating Championship. Now I won't be competing because it is affiliated with a league called Major League Eating that I'm currently not associated with. Maybe I'll get back with them in the future, I'm not sure. Now it's about an hour away from my house and I figured this is a great opportunity to get some new content for the channel. I did a little bit of research. I found a challenge I've never done before and apparently it's a very, very hard challenge. We are finally here. Now, I love driving my car, but I have worked up a real appetite for this burrito. I can't wait to see what this is all about. Let's head inside. Oh, are you doing the kitchen sink burrito? Yeah. Oh. Here we are at for their kitchen sink burrito challenge. This is a massive burrito. This is about nine and a half pounds. I weighed this up with the plate. So I'll have to get the actual net weight afterwards. I have 20 minutes to eat this burrito. For some reason, it is really, really hard to do. Only five people succeeded. Roughly about a 3% success rate, they told me. I don't, I don't understand. It does look big, but the, I think the catch is you only have 20 minutes. And it's so tough that there's actually a professional eater, a ranked eater, who does contests all the time. He failed this challenge twice. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but I have my battle set for me today. I have 20 minutes to go. Each place has different rules. This is when, as soon as the, the knife touches. Yep, as soon so, as the knife touches the burrito or the spoon, if you're okay. gonna use that. That's cool, I just wanna make sure I can start it right. All right, here we go. You got start? Yep. Thanks. Let me see if we can just pick this up today, guys. This could be a tough one. I was really looking forward to starting this challenge. That long drive got me hungry, and luckily these people made this burrito lightning fast. I've never once had a challenge burrito prepared so quickly, so thank you for that. But this is still a little warm. I let it cool off, but I'm going to try to pick this up and eat it neatly. It's just much more of a natural way of me eating a burrito versus spooning it in. So let's see how it works. There's five wraps on this holding this together, so, so far so good. A lot of beef. Those five wraps are needed because they're holding five pounds of chicken, beef, pork, beans, rice, cheese, sour cream, and guacamole. But I don't think that's the hardest part of the challenge. Ooh, it is hot inside. I know a lot of you have probably never eaten a six and a quarter pound burrito before, but it, they're very, very deceptive, these big burritos. They tend to stay warm in the middle for a long time. Almost seems like they're still cooking inside. Ooh, it's hot. I know I sound like a little kid talking about how hot it is all the time, but this truly was hot burrito, but enough of that nonsense. I just had to suck it up. I chose one to start, so I have to deal with the consequences. All right, the first half worked. The second half, it looks bigger, so I'm probably about a third of the way done. It's not two thirds the burrito, but it is over half the burrito. I like to kind of trick my brain a little bit to make it seem like I have a lot of work ahead of me to stay focused and keep going. A lot of times that works. Sometimes it doesn't, as you can tell, because I'm already right back to that H word. This side's even hotter. I think I may have just come up with a new game, whether it be a drinking game or a gambling game. Can I go 30 seconds in this video without mentioning how hot the burrito is? At this point, I'm gonna take the under. Wow, surprisingly, I would have lost that one. It's been over 30 seconds now. I think it's safe now. I probably won't complain about how hot this burrito is for the rest of the video, but you never know. I do get a lot of requests on eating food quicker in my videos. I'm too old for that. I'm not gonna race through my food anymore. So I'm going to still eat this neatly, but quickly. I'm going for the 9 minute and 15 second record the restaurant told me about. There's a ton of meat in here. If you are going to do this challenge, remember, there is a very low success rate. So there's probably something I'm missing. But here's the tips I would give you. It's listed as a 5 to possibly 6 pound burrito challenge. 
Now mine, I weighed this out, it is exactly six and a quarter pounds. I don't know if it can get much bigger than that, but just don't go in expecting that it's gonna be a five pound burrito. I definitely got on the upper end of the limit. The next thing is, ask the rules specifically, because there's some videos out there of big YouTubers and they were allowed to cut the burrito open first and the timer didn't start till the first bite started. Now, I don't think I'm gonna need those couple of seconds. It's not gonna matter for me. But if you were a first timer doing this, and even apparently a, a major league eating pro, the time is tough. So try to get them to uh, allow you to at least wait till take the first bite before the time starts. My next big tip, which is going to be the most important tip, is just use your hands and be a brutal savage with this. Just rip into that and pull out chunks of meat at a time. Don't try to eat it neatly like I am. Not that I'm eating it super neat, but eating it sloppy is going to be way, way faster. Also use a hot beverage that will make it go down quicker. And lastly, stand up because it's going to be quicker for you to eat standing up. But I'm not doing those things. I'm still trying to break the record. It's just, I want to enjoy my food the older I get. At this point, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to set the record. So I'm going to take the next 45 seconds off. Just do some house cleaning. You would think I'm almost done, but I'm actually still a to go here. Well, I'm actually pretty much done, but I'm just trying to build a little bit of drama here. Make the video more interesting. What I'm eating now is mainly the food that came out on top of the burrito. Surprisingly, the burrito held together very well when I picked it up, which I'm very glad I went that route. It makes for a much better tasting burrito. So let me clean up this guacamole and other toppings and get this thing taken care of. All good. <clears throat> wow, that was a good burrito. Surprisingly, there's a little spice in there. Try to get to the scale, weigh this out. Weighed nine and a half before I started. Now it's three, three pounds, uh, four ounces now. So that was a six and a quarter pound burrito. Wow, that's impressive. 7.56. He definitely broke in. Uh, what I've seen, I've never seen somebody eat it that quick. That burrito was really good. I'm not sure why so many people have failed. I know it's it's a good sized burrito. It didn't end up weighing six and a quarter pounds. 20 minutes to eat is probably what's killing everybody. Uh, the old record was 9.15, I was able to do it at 7.56, so I was excited about that. But I'm really that you know, full. Maybe I'll get some dessert. Actually, I'm going to just get a bunch of chips. My kind of dessert. I have to throw these chips down real quick so I can make it to the contest on time. I did make it to the contest on time and it was great to catch up with tons of old friends. I pretty much knew everyone at the table from when I used to compete with MLE. That's Nick with the blue hair. He got me the ticket to get in the stadium. I actually walked in with Joey Chestnut. Jeff Esper I filmed with before. Now Jay Webby, this is the first time meeting him. He's a new person. But I knew everyone at the table. It was great to catch up. It was a super, super close contest. I have to admit, watching this contest really made me want to compete again. Not train, but just go to the table and see what I can do naturally. Have some fun with it. But in the meantime, this year's pork roll eating champion of the world is none other than Jeff Esper. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook at Real Notorious B.O.B. There are different shorter edits of all my videos.